investigation into abuse of inmates at the Jackson County Detention Center. Now community leaders looking into what exactly goes on inside that facility. 41 Action News reporter Brendalise Gonzalez is live downtown near the jail. And Brendalise, the FBI now investigating after reports of inmates with broken bones possibly caused by guards there. That's right, Krista. The allegations involve several inmates here who ended up with bruises and one at least who ended up with a broken back. And now the FBI and the county are investigating to see whether these were isolated incidents or whether this is something that's been going on for much longer. Uh, we're here today concerning troubling allegations. The allegations come from inside the Jackson County Detention Center, where jail guards are accused of injuring at least four inmates. This process is just beginning. It's just in its infancy. There are many questions uh, that we can't answer. Now the FBI and county administrators have launched an investigation. In the meantime, the four guards connected to the case no longer work at the jail. It's similar to police investigating a Police use of excessive force. Michael Tabman is a former FBI agent. Uh, just the severity of, of some of the injuries that are being reported, if these were being done by guards, how is this not being noticed by top administrators? He says now it's up to the FBI to answer those questions. They'll interview employees and inmates searching for potential witnesses. The question it will be where has management been? Where has been the oversight? Five members of a separate citizens task force will launch their own investigation on policies and procedures at the jail. Anyone involved in the abuse allegations could face both state and federal charges. It'll, it'll take a while. And they're very sensitive investigations. It'll take some time. But then uh, at the end, they'll decide whether or not to bring this to uh, indictment. Members of that special task force could meet as early as this week. Now they're going to be looking into what goes inside, uh, on inside this facility, even consider whether or not they should recommend uh, moving inmates from outside of this facility, going on to a more updated facility. Now, a spokesperson for the county tells me they are considering making those specific meetings open to the public. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, Brenda Liz Gonzalez, 41 Action News. Brenda Liz.